Hey everyone, this is Autocator635, and if you guys saw my previous video before this one, this will be a dismantling video. Now, if you haven't, I'll go ahead and say, long story short, that fucking phone you see right there, not the cat, the phone, it, it's not bad, but it's a piece of shit at focusing, so I'd rather do it with this phone, which I know it has hell of a focus. I don't know why they reduced that, but yeah, this is the Finion, um Power Traveler, one of the two that I that I got in a lot, and this is basically what it does. The robot actually has two motors, and I'll go ahead and show the entire system right now. So you take the chest piece off, and the arms instantly come off because they are held in by a square fit. Same with this one. And what you see right here at the front is basically one motor. This motor is the one that controls the walking and the little gear that has that one fin or triangle, or triangle I mean, that gets in between these two plastics right there in the back where there's a spring. If I put my screwdriver in between those and I move it to the side, to this side, this one opens up. Same with the other one. So that's how they basically both open up at the same time. It's all a question of uh, fitting it the right way, like this. See what I mean? So basically this little thing, the gear spins and that's when the uh, door, the door lever we can call it, that little piece of plastic actually makes the two doors to open up or, well doors, doors, I call them doors because it's, it's a, it, I'm used to seeing robots with opening doors instead of arm, armors anyways, um, here's the head of Power Traveler if you guys want to see it detailedly it's actually pretty cool, I don't know why they haven't made a robot with this face moldier, it's actually really nice I'd like Fingyan to actually make one like that because it's pretty neat. And here by the other side, we see the other motor that was stuck. It was originally stuck and that's why the robot's head would not rise up. It's controlled by a worm gear. You can also see the 104 capacitor it has right there. Now at the side, there's these two... Um, yes, there's these two relays that are in series. They're actually connected in series. Why are they connected in series? It's a really good question that I'm about to answer right now. What basically happens is they both have to be closed for the head to go up. So basically what happens is the um you know the robot walks and everything. This goes back this goes to the back the lever moves, it closes this relay, and as this relay was already closed, if I'm not wrong, because, yeah, it's as it's already closed, what happens is the head starts going up, because the motor's wired that way. So, as soon as you push the bottom one, it starts making the head go up. Now, when the robot reaches this one, it self-shuts off, because this one opens, this relay opens. Now, I don't really know how the the uh the part works for the for when it has to close down. So, I'm going to actually try to find that out. If you guys can see, yeah, there is there is an actual that one is actually opened and that one's closed. So, I'll see how that works out. Cause I really don't know. See what I mean? It, it instantly dropped down. I don't know why. Um, but there is something. I'm probably starting to think that it actually has to do with something mechanical as well to keep the head up once it's, you know, once it goes up all the way. Which I'm actually going to try to find out right now about it. Because, of course, those two things open up. Yes. Once they open up, they... It doesn't seem like there's any lock or anything, basically. Unless, oh, okay, so I think that gear tray actually sticks the head into place. I'll go ahead and make a little test. 
you guys can see that gear is turning. Makes the thing open up. Head goes up. Stops. And basically right now, that's, that's basically what stops the gear tray as well. As of what I can see. There is a little... There seems to be a little piece right there. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, that, that one piece right there that actually gets into the, the gear teeth. So if I move it to the back, it's going to drop down because that piece, you know, doesn't make well contact. Am I right on that? Um, the gear basically goes like that. This... Oh. Huh. Wait a second. Okay, so that goes up like that. I'm actually going to have to check that out. turning oh okay now I understand it it's not a it's not a little piece what basically happens is when this gear when this uh, when this tray goes to the back it lifts up this gear so this gear makes contact with the gear that is connected to the rest of the gear train meaning that this gear right here is the one that actually drives the head. So that so that is basically what ends up happening. And when the thing goes down, it automatically drops and the, the motor is not running, of course. That's pretty cool. Okay, that is a one-time discovery. Now, the legs, I'm pretty sure they should be removable. And Oh, they have a Z-bar. Okay, then they do have a Z-bar. I did not know that. And they seem to have the classical Fingyon gears, which are... The three gears with the crown one. It's pretty cool. In the inside we see there is a... I uh, don't know if it's actually noticeable. There's got to be a magic gear somewhere. Or something that actually sticks the robot. Or makes the robot, you know, stop walking. When, when it's about to go up. So I should actually go ahead and check. I think it's something around there. I'll actually take this off. Oh. Never mind, it's actually this that is pushing it down. There must be this one shaft that has a, I believe it's a 10 tooth gear, but I could be wrong. I think it's a 10 tooth gear. This is what makes the robot walk. And it gets pushed down by this at one point. No, most of the time it actually gets pushed down, but there's a little spring at the bottom. I don't know if it's noticeable, but there's a little spring at the bottom that actually... Uh, you know, retracts it when the robot, like, the thing is mostly pushed down, and the robot starts transforming, that actually retracts it because there's nothing holding the gear in place, the, the shaft in place, like, it's not holding it down. Actually, a pretty nice thing. Um, now, you might, you, some people were actually thinking that the board actually was some sort of actor on this, but it basically was not. It actually is a a continuous sound chip like any other, and it's located inside of the head. With the speaker and everything, so yeah. I mean, other than that, that's practically everything I got to show about it. I may do a video later on about, or maybe I, I don't know. I might, I might actually say how the things go, but yeah, that's practically it. I mean, basically, what this does is it makes it rise up electronically, and then it makes it drop mechanically, which is a really nice thing, actually. I like it. I like that design. Um. Which is, I don't know, I just, I just like it, because the thing is that a few times he actually did skip the relay right there. And yeah, if you guys see, this is actually supposed, this is, these rise up with the head, when the head goes up. And there's a little, there's two little um, levers that, that get pushed by that. 
and that's basically what drops the head down and with that it makes the chest have another shape which is really nice um, here's the inside of the head as you can see massive dust massive dirt I'll have to do that the antennas are actually separate pieces which is pretty nice and actually <laughs> one came off Wow it's just that's pretty cool <laughs> Anyways, I guess that's practically everything that I had to show. I mean, the robot itself is just really nice. I don't think they actually copied this from any other robot. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I do know the head actually has some sort of similarity with the Space Fighter head, the Fingon Space Fighter, but other than that, I really don't think there's any other robot that does this exact same motion. But I do know that the sound chip is actually... Well, the soundtrack, not the sound chip, soundtrack is actually from another robot that is like some sort of battle bruiser type robot where it walks and it says stuff like, I am battle, I am um power traveler. So the chip is actually a knockoff of another chip, but there's not a big deal there. Anyways, I guess that's practically it. So just a little more view on what the robot is about and I'll start dismantling it permanently. So, well, not permanently, but like cleaning it up and everything. And then reassembling it and making another video about it. So, yeah, I guess that's practically it. So, thank you everyone for watching. And, uh, as always, stay tuned for more things. I will try to check right now what are those two wires. Those two, um, not wires, those two contacts. Because I have a slight feeling this is negative and this is positive for the motor. Well, not, not for the motor, but for the light. No, actually, no. This positive... Let me check... Okay, that positive goes to one motor, to the other motor, to the switch, and to the relay. So, wait, to the motor? Oh, no, no, actually, no, to the wire. No, the other wire is the one that goes to the motor. So, there's four wires, motor, switch, relay, and... Ah, sound chip, the sound chip, of course, the sound chip. The sound chip that goes all the way into the head. So, I guess that's everything. Um, so we have a main positive and the main negative, which connects to the, uh, missile lights, I think. Yeah, the missile lights, and it probably connects, yeah, to the motors as well. I mean, there doesn't really need to be an interruption for the negative contact of the other motor. Now, this motor was the one that was zeased up before. I'm trying to focus there. This is the one that was eased up, and I had to turn it a little bit. So what the robot would do if this motor was not working, which was what happened to me, is that the robot walks, opens up the uh, the shoulders, and that's everything. He does not rise up the head, nor the missiles, and he basically just walks and opens up the shoulders, which is a kind of a waste. So yeah, I guess that's everything, guys. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.